Today I'm going to talk about using Scandi or underhand casting for Skagit lines. You know, we usually use waterborne continuous motion cast for Skagit, but I have uh, found through actually Yanis Panitz is the guy who told me, you know, to use uh, touch and go cast for. Uh, gadget lines and it works just as good and lo and behold it does in the previous video I was casting 570 grain 19 and a half feet Skagit head 10 foot of t14 and a dumbbell eyed type of fly that was tied by Nikki page or a similar fly the combination between underhand and Scandi Lift, rotate, push out, set that anchor as I'm doing this with my top hand, and then forward cap. Sometimes I think if we concentrate too much on, on poking our tip of our rod in the air or in the sky, I think what happens is we shorten our stroke and then we're liable to hit it too hard when the rod's like at one o'clock and then you get your tailing loops and stuff. But if I start it back here, nothing feels more gratifying and um, satisfying in a cast than having your bottom hand out here and using the top hand for the pivot point and using all this leverage to and it loads the rod it starts to load way back here and then it's just like one of those uh, catapults what are they called Gun, I looked it up last night anyway but it very satisfying very powerful really fun and I'm gonna try to do a few I learned about using Skagit heads for many Scandi heads from a guy named Black Francis off Spay Pages many moons ago. And if you underline a Skagit head according to your rod's grain window, you can use medium tips and do really nice touch and go casts. They're very fun for Scandi. But what I'm doing in this video is a heavy, heavier Skagit rig. And the big problem I have, as you can see, is too much slack in the D loop, and what causes this for the most part for me, besides uh, inconsistent anchor, is after I sweep and circle up instead of going straight up with both elbows at the same angle and keeping the rod at the same angle and then casting or casting right away, I kind of rear back, I have my wrist too loosened up, and I tip the rod tip back. Like right there, I tipped the rod tip back and that's where the slack came from. So I need to clean that up. And uh, anyway, but other than that, it works really good for heavy bugs. It's probably the most efficient cast for heavy Skagit rig and heavy bugs, except for overhead casting. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate you watching this video. I think Black Francis' real name is Nick Pionessa. He's from, uh, I think, Great Lakes region. I'm not really sure, but really excellent tire and very knowledgeable spade fisherman. So thank you, Nick.
How to cast in heavy brush. First, remove the brush. Boom! Oh. 